Hi everybody, we are going to be talking today about fractions with common denominators. Um, right now I have drawn a, I'm going to call it a chocolate bar, that is divided into fifths. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say on day one I ate the blue part, which is in the middle, which is kind of strange, but I ate three fifths, and then the next day I ate one fifth. We're going to talk about how we calculate this because it can seem somewhat confusing to kids. So the red is simply a 1 out of, I grab a black pen, which is, it's simply a 1 fifth. 1 red square out of a total of 5 squares. And now the blue is 3 blue squares out of the total of 5 squares. And so, how many fifths have I eaten total? Well, if I ate one red on one day, three uh, of the blue on another day, then I have a total of four colored squares, either red or blue, out of the, still the total is only five. We didn't somehow slice these into tenths. They stayed fifths. I ate one, three fifths one day, one fifth the next day, or if I wanted to take this sheet and I look at the fifths, if I ate one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, then another day I'll only have one fifth left. So I want to use the model um, on the back of this to figure out what's two ninths plus five ninths. So if I have two ninths, and then I count one, two, three, four, five more ninths, I count a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the nine that I've um, eaten or used or whatever I'm calculating here. So in this case, I would do two plus five is seven, and the ninth stay the same. That's out of how many total, and the total stays the same. Try this one, pause the video, but remember you may need to reduce. Okay, if you are unpaused, if I, you add straight across, that's four. Resist the temptation to add these. Remember the denominator is staying the same. We're still out of eighths. Now if I look at this, I can see right now, I can divide this by a 4 over 4. There's my fancy form of 1 right there. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So my final answer is 1 half. So all you need to remember for this, if you have this in your notes, to add two fractions with a common denominator. Remember, it has to be out of fifths, both out of ninths, both out of eighths, both out of one thousand one hundredths. The denominators have to be the same. You write the sum of the numerators over the common denominator. That's a fancy way of saying the denominator stays the same and you just add the numerators. This is the algebra for that. So try three-fifths plus four-fifths. If you get an improper fraction, hint, hint, would you please turn it into a mixed number? Would you pause the video and try it, and then we'll go through it together. All right, so I'm going to go through this, and when I add 3 plus 4, I get 7. And again, we are talking about fifths. Remember, that stays the same, so the fifth stays in fifth. So now I have 7 fifths. So if I were to change that back into a mixed number, I know 5 will go into 7 a total of one times, one time with two leftovers because you can count two up to seven, so two-fifths. So that means I would have more than one candy bar. I would have eaten a whole plus two-fifths of another one if I had seven-fifths. You do this exact same concept for a subtraction. You just simply subtract the numerators instead of add them. So try this one without even my instruction. What do you think seven-tenths minus three-tenths is? Pause the video. Don't forget to reduce. All right, so if I take 7 minus 3, I get a 4. 
and my tenths stay the same because it's out of the same number. And if I were at tenths and I'm one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I'm at seven tenths, but then I give away one, two, three tenths, that means I am up to only one, two, three, four tenths. However, when you look at four tenths, I can divide the top and the bottom by a two, my fancy form a one, so I would get two fifths. We're doing a lot with fifths. So next, I would like you to try this, 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 and this um, all by yourself and then unpause the video and see if you got it right. If you get all four of them correct, that means you're really ready to start this assignment. It's not difficult, but it can be confusing. I'll put my work right below. So for the common denominator, for number one, I got one and one fifth. For number two, I got one and four sevenths. Again, I put the original fraction right here. Um, I got four sixths, which reduced to two thirds for number three. And then I also got two thirds for number four. That's how you do it. I hope you have a great assignment.